As the vaccination rollout continues to pick up pace and the nation moves towards reopening, treatment options for COVID will become more important. And in recent days, a potential treatment in the form of an oral pill has taken centre stage. Called Molnupiravir or Molnu, it's an antiviral medication developed and manufactured by the US pharmaceutical company Merck. Trials show it could halve the chance of a COVID patient dying or being hospitalised. In the latest test, no deaths were reported in patients who received Molnu, compared to eight fatalities in those who received a placebo pill. The Australian government has already bought 300,000 courses of the drug, even before it has been approved by the Therapeutic Goods Administration. The Health Minister, Greg Hunt, has explained why the government acted so quickly to purchase the treatment. It is an important uh, step forward. It's uh, Molnupiravir, it's made by Merck, and uh, it's a, an oral pill. So uh, the treatments that we've had until now uh, have had to be done through a hospital infusion. So on uh, scientific advice, medical advice, we've purchased 300,000 courses and uh, it's provided to people early after diagnosis if they have risk factors of uh, potentially progressing with COVID to hospitalisation. Um, it's a five-day course, uh, two pills a day, but critically, uh, the clinical trials show it uh, reduces the risk of hospitalisation and death by, uh, by half. And uh, it doesn't uh, pre uh, prevent COVID, uh, it's about treating it and significantly uh, reducing the risk. So it's a complement to vaccination. And these two things together are all part of the process of protecting Australians and saving lives, but also giving them the, the pathway back. And 15,000 doses of a different COVID treatment has arrived in Australia. So Trovimab is another drug that has been shown to keep people with mild COVID symptoms from developing more severe disease that might lead to hospitalisation or death. However, unlike the Molnir pill, so Trovimab has to be administered via an injection. The ABC's Dr Norman Swan says there are benefits and limitations with both treatments. If we hadn't had a vaccine, then this would have been one of the answers as you take a pill to actually get rid of the virus. So this is a novel drug <coughs> which interferes with the virus's ability to multiply in your body. Um, so it's great news um, and, a, and a very useful addition to the armamentarium. The problem will be um, resistance. Just like you get antibiotic resistance, you're quite likely to get antiviral resistance. You get it with HIV drugs, which is why they give triple therapy often with people with HIV infection. So you really want to see a few more of these drugs come onto the market, but uh, it's, it's, it's uh, an oral drug, which is great, versus the uh, monoclonal antibodies, Trovimab, which is not a treatment for the virus. It's not an antiviral drug. It stops the virus getting into the body and, um, and it requires an intravenous infusion. So we're getting more and more drugs that will help people who either can't be vaccinated or immunocompromised and get seriously ill. Uh, very, a great comfort for them too.